This video is going to show how you can use YouTube as a video compressor. As you can see, I have a large file here. It's almost three and a half hours. And I have a lot of chapter markers in here as well. Exporting this file is going to be extremely large. Let's take a look at it. So we're looking at 15.3 gigabytes is the estimated file size when we export it out of Final Cut. I have already exported these files, 15.53 gigabytes. And here is the file that I've broke down in Handbrake. Now Handbrake is a very good video compressor. And uh, it, as you can see, it dropped the file size down significantly. One of the issues that I have is that these particular videos are uploaded to my church's Ustream account as well. And with Ustream, you could only upload a file size up to four gigabytes. So that means in this particular instance, I would have to break down the file size again and handbrake to try to get it under four gigabytes. And a file size this large could take anywhere up to two and a half to three hours to condense the file size again. So I've already uploaded this file to YouTube. Now, when we look at this on YouTube, you can only do this with your account. So when you are, are in your video manager section in YouTube, you can hit the edit button, this drop down arrow next to the edit button, and you could do download MP4. And I'm gonna save this on my desktop. And as you can see, it says that the file size is gonna be 2.3 gigabytes. Now, there are some pros and cons to, to this. When you export your file out of Final Cut, it's gonna have the chapter markers of whatever you put inside your video. But when you download these files from YouTube, your chapter markers are no longer going to be inside your video file. Your video file, it will, uh, it will downgrade just a little bit. For example, here's the video directly out of Final Cut. If we look at the information on it, as you can see, it is 1920 by 1080. Your video file, when you download it from YouTube, it's not gonna be 1920 by 1080, but the quality is still gonna be really good. And if it's something that you wanna keep for your records, uh, you know, saving it on your hard drive or saving it in another uh, location, then your file size is gonna be much smaller. Okay, I have the file downloaded from YouTube now. So you can see all the video file sizes on here. The original file from Final Cut 15.53. This is the file size broken down in Handbrake 5.87 and then 2.45 file size from YouTube. So now this is the file that I'm going to use to upload to the Ustream account. And it's gonna upload a lot smoother because the file size is condensed. And in YouTube and Ustream, you can't use your chapter markers as I, as I stated earlier. So let's take a look at the file size again here. This is the one downloaded from YouTube. And as I said, it'll be 1280 by 720, but the quality is not gonna be that big of a difference. You're still gonna have a good quality video and the file size is gonna be a lot smaller. And you also have other options. Like I said, you know, you can also break down the file size again inside of Handbrake, and then that way you'll continue to have your chapter markers. So for example, uh, if I look at this file, you can see the chapter markers that you have. All right, thank you for watching, and I wanted to show you how you can use YouTube as the video compressor.